Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's show. I am joined in the studio to my right, hilarious comedian, and the new. she got a new blog called The Miserable Liberal, and she's the host of Comedy and Everything Else. It's Steph Zamorano. Hi, Steph. How are you? I'm doing great, Jimmy. Yes. You don't have you don't have anything in Spanish to say? Hola. You Como está, Jaime? You are, you are our resident Latina. We have to ethnic okay. up this show. All right. Uh, uh, vamos a la playa. Oh, very good. I am going down to the playa del Rey. <laughs> Is that what that means? That's pretty good. Jimmy. All right. So also on the phone... From uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, it's TV's Frank. Frank Conniff is with us. Hi, Frank. Hello there. And everybody should catch Frank's uh, podcast, Pothouse 90. What's the newest episode called? The newest episode is called Dracula Has Risen in the Poles. There you go. Check it out, Pothouse 90. Here's a link over at jimmydorkcomedy.com. Also on the phone from San Francisco, a hilarious writer, it's Mark Van Landuit. Hey, Mark, how are you? Hi, everybody. All right, let's get to the jokes before we get to the jokes. Hey, you know, if you're in the mood to have total effing morons get in touch with you, you know what you do? You just post an anti-NRA pro-gun control tweet. (laughs) Bam. You're going to get a lot of total effing morons. (laughs) Hey, shocking news. I don't know if you heard about this. Uh... Senator Gillibrand, the female Kirsten Gillibrand, uh, she posts, she uh, published a, a book talking about all the sexual harassment she gets and being a, even as a senator. And uh, shocking news, male senators make sexist remarks. You know, we expect them to be polite when they pass bills that hurt working women. Shouldn't they be nicer? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Speaking of which, Labor Day was last Monday, and, you know, Labor Day is a tribute to the rights of the working class, or as Republicans call it, a national day of mourning. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Because they're not, they're not pro-worker. No, they're not. Hey, by the way, uh, it, it is September, right? It is September, so which means that the GOP's new fall season of anti-black, anti-woman, anti-immigrant laws will be premiering soon. <laughs> huh? And isn't it weird? By the way, Frank, you live in New York City, right? I do. It's weird how year after year after year, Fashion Week manages to happen without you. <laughs> I know. They just completely ignore me. I don't get it. That is... Fashion- Fashion Week is uh, like uh, uh, Comic Con, but uh, with cosplay uh, for rich assholes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, by the way, the media wants to move past the, by the, the big the big celebrity nude scandal. They broke in right to the iCloud, and they got uh, they got nude pictures of uh, what's her name. Um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, and yeah. they said even Kate Upton's. Uh, and could there be anything more damaging to a young bikini model's career <laughs> than salacious photos of her being posted <laughs> on the internet? I don't think so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, and the media wants to move past the celebrity nude photo scandal, so it can go back to its normal everyday way of objectifying women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honest to God. I mean, so you get the the jokes there. I'm talking about, I'm outraged over the outreach. <laughs> That's what those jokes are about. By the way, Joan Rivers passed. She's a friend of the show, guest of the show. And uh, by the way, at least, uh, at least finally now her face can relax. Am I right? Uh, uh, <laughs> am I right? Am I right? And by the way, Joan Rivers wouldn't hesitate to make a sick joke about the passing of Joan Rivers, yes. which is why I said that and why we will all miss her. Yes. Rest yes, in peace, Joan Rivers. Hey, by the way, I just heard a report that Eric Cantor, Eric Cantor, you know, he lost his seat in the primary this year to a Tea Party Republican. Eric Cantor has just gotten a job working for Wall Street. Wait a minute. I thought he left Congress. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that he got a job uh, as a big shot on, on Wall Street, considering that Eric Cantor has um, zero experience working in banking or finance or anything like that. Yeah. I, I'm sure the $3.4 million the financial industry contributed to his campaign had nothing to do with anything. Oh, had I nothing. Guess. Uh, I but don't get it. why would they? Why would they hire him? I don't get it. I don't get why they would hire him. Hey, by the way, Luke Russert 
It's going to be a regular on Meet the Press. Oh, yeah. boy. That's right. Going to be a regular on Meet the Press. <laughs> uh, because any random person they could pull in off the street wasn't available. <laughs> <laughs> not available <laughs> hey by the way duck Di- if did you hear duck dynasties phil robertson's in the news again he made a comment on isis uh he said what well, they asked him what do you think we should do with isis and duck dynasties phil robertson says we got to convert them or kill them and now he's being sued by isis for plagiarizing their ideology <laughs> get it He's just like the thing he claims to hate, folks.